Good morning, everybody. It's time to get this party started. Hey, guys. $1,296 in six days of driving Uber in 49 trips. And the goal is simple today. Let's get that Let's get that to $1,500. Why did I choke there? Well, no. you know what? I'm a human being. We can make mistakes like that, okay? Let's get that to $1,500. In order to do that, I need roughly $204. Actually... Alrighty, my friends, we are going to start with our earnings from yesterday, okay, where yes. we ended up Saturday night. As you can see up here, 1,296. Um, today is Sunday. We're getting started. Roughly, we've done 39 hours active. And then online, we've been 76 hours. This is good. I'm four hours under. Uh, normally, yeah. if I've driven 39 hours active, I would be actually 78 hours online because it doubles for me, right? The 49 trips over here is a little bit high, but you have to understand January is a little bit slower for Uber drivers. So I have to compensate my strategy and drive a little bit more, okay? Tips wise, we can see down here, we are at 175. This is very good. I've got some cash tips. So we've, we've hit our goal of 200 tips for the week. If I can get 200 tips for a week, it is possible to hit $1,500. This is very good news. Now we're gonna look at Saturday. It was a little bit slow, it was tough, I got tired. And when I'm tired, I go home, okay? But the money was 155, which is fine, which is the minimum I like to be at is 155. 55 goes to gas, 100 goes in my pocket. Um, active, five hours, online, 11, this is still good. Even though the first three, four hours yesterday, when you watch my video from yesterday, you'll know that for three, four hours, I didn't get anything. I made some mistakes, okay? We did it in six trips and watch why we did it in six trips. Now, the money would have been better if we hadn't gotten more tips, but you know, a couple of long drives that didn't tip, I got tired. I don't know what, what energy was going on, what was going on yesterday, so I ended up going home. Now, let's take a look at the whole day yesterday. Um, this is where I made the mistake. I think I started driving around 7 in the morning, but I didn't pick up a passenger till 1130 and I missed my first spot uh, in uh, um, Cherry Valley. Then I missed my second spot in Moreno Valley. I missed, missed my third spot in Riverside. I think I went to Ontario Airport and I finally got lucky, right? And I missed the, the spot in Ontario Airport at 930. So everywhere I went, I went there a little bit late and unfortunately, you know, it was a tough day yesterday. Um, but if you look on the left, you will notice um, we made $24 on the first passenger. I took them from Ontario Airport to Temesco Valley. Bad idea, okay? But I did get a tip. I was frustrated. I took a $19 ride or $18 ride, did good service, turned it into $25, $26 um, because of the tip. The second passenger, I got really lucky. I was leaving Temesco Valley. I had a choice to go towards Temecula or go back towards Corona. I decided to go towards Corona so I can cut across to Orange County. And I picked up a birthday girl with six friends going out to a winery and having a good time. Again, the, t uh, the trip was supposed to pay $37, but with the tip and service, it was raining, grabbing the umbrellas, grabbing the cell phones, helping these beautiful Hispanic ladies in the car. I ended up getting a $48 um, uh, final earnings, right? So that's $10 on the tip. After that, um, I got four offers from Uber in wine country with low ratings for $10 here, $4 here, $15 here. I said, no, I said, this is wine country. There's somebody here that needs to go. And I've done this enough where I know in Temecula, I can find somebody. That's exactly what happened. I found a kid named Jerry, a long, brutal drive, 79 miles um, for $52. And this is where I got tired, but I dropped him off uh, from Temecula to El Monte. I got tired and after that, after that I said, you know what, I'm gonna go home. And going home, I essentially ended up making a little bit of money. I got close to Ontario Airport and I took a small passenger for $8. This guy gave me a $5 cash tip. Then I took another small passenger going home for $13. And then I did one more ride. I think I dropped these people off at um, Toyota Arena for a, uh, for a, ice hockey game like they're a level lower level than NF NHL and that's it and around six seven o'clock I got tired I went home I took it easy I did have the app on trying to see if I can get something on the way but it wasn't offering anything and I said you know what 
I got 155 with the cash tip. I got 160. That's enough for me. Okay, that was my highlights from yesterday. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to turn the app on. It's 621 in the morning. And I'm just going to see what happens. If it pops up something, uh, if it's reasonable, I'll take it. And if it's not, then, uh, you know, we'll start cherry picking. Okay, so let's put the time in. It is 6. 21 in the morning okay uh, not like yesterday I don't want to wait another four hours or five hours to get my first passenger and I will be a little bit flexible I'll take ten dollars minimum today just so I can knock it out early now which direction am I gonna go let's zoom out the first thing I can see is there's a surge over here right so it's showing me Riverside is good um, I'm literally gonna get my gas and then go to get go to Costco this way and see if I get lucky and uh, you guys will be the first ones to find out if I got lucky today. Rain or shine, we drive because, look, when it's foggy, when it's rainy, there's less drivers, there's more passengers, and it is a great time for abundance and wealth driving for Uber. That's a pro tip. I left uh, Cherry Valley Lakes, and now I am near Moreno Valley. I'm literally just going over the mountains and right now this freeway i don't know when they did this but 60 freeway right here going through the mountains is different it's smoother um, it's less curvy um, i think it's got a a nice truck lane it feels really good yeah they did a good job over here it's actually fun to drive this right now and i can remember i think less than six months ago it wasn't really fun driving this it wasn't really safe Let's study that. $16 to go 30 minutes. The mile is going to be 25 miles. I end up in Redlands. Riverside will do it. It's 30 minutes, $16. And it's early in the morning. We, we might get lucky from Redlands. I think this is a UCR pickup. 5.0 means it's a new customer. And it looks like the hospital is where the pickup is. Good morning. Good morning. For Warren? Yes. Come on in. A little rain. Here. Yeah. Okay. Let me double check. Uh, Redlands? Yes. Fair enough. How you doing today? Good. Good. Done. Getting with, done with work? Done with work. Resident, nurse, doctor? Uh, nursing student. Monitor tech. Okay. Are you doing like a 24 hour shift? This was a 12 hour shift. Oh, that's not bad. Seven, yeah. seven to seven. Go home, sleep for a couple hours, and then get back to moving. Are you moving? From, uh, yeah, moved from Riverside to Redlands. So. Oh, so you're going to be further away from here? Yeah. I like Redlands. I'm close. I'm in Cherry Valley Lakes. Oh, very nice. Yeah. I like, I like Redlands. The whole area is nice. Yeah, it's... it's Cherry it's, Valley Lakes is just right past Yucaipa, right? Uh, yeah. Yucaipa, then Cherry Valley, then Banning, Bay Mound, correct. Yeah, that's nice. Sometimes when I leave, I'll get a ride to Redlands. And then... Uh, it's nice. I like it. It's, it's, it's a lot busier than I thought. Yeah, I think with Ubering. Uh, Uber, I, I'm testing it out right now. This is why I kind of took your ride. I was like, early in the morning, it's it's away from the main city. Maybe, you know, there's university there. I can get lucky. Mm -hmm. um, in Riverside, nine out of 10 times, I can get a ride here close to Mission Inn. Okay. Yeah, so this is like a guaranteed spot. Marina Valley, during the week, you can get lucky. But Redlands, I'm trying. Um, Especially on the weekend, you know, when it rains, uh, more people need a ride, so it's a different, slightly different. Yeah. That is a beautiful, gorgeous day. I'm in Redlands, my friends. Dropped off the first passenger, and here's the lesson from this. I got paid $16 to go roughly 16 miles. The passenger paid $26. And I asked him uh, about the details, and he was asking me, I think Uber normally used to charge $32 for this because they double it and they put half the money in their pocket and half the money comes in our pocket. 
but because he was a new customer, his rating was 5.0. Uh, Uber is giving him the ride for less money where the drivers make less, meaning we lose money so Uber can retain more passengers and that passenger doesn't go over to Lyft, right? And it's raining, right? In a rainy day, back in the days, and I'm talking less than a year ago, it's crying in the background, I gotta check it. But back in the days, on a rainy day, it would be surging everywhere in California. And when it rains, it pours. We used to make good money. Yesterday, if you look at my video, I barely made $155, right? So, um, it's, it's, the leash is getting tighter, I'm just letting you guys know. It's getting harder and harder to make money. Let's take a look at today's last trip. I started at seven o'clock. So seven o'clock, we picked up this passenger right here. Uh, it took 19 minutes or 20 minutes for 14.5 miles for $16. I think that's good. I did have to drive a little bit to pick him up, but I was gonna go to downtown Riverside anyways. So let me show you what it looks like on the map. Um, I live down here off the map. I ended up going this way and picking up this customer and I came back to Redlands, right? That's basically the route that I took. I could have taken an easier route to Redlands, but I didn't want to. But right now I'm just trying to hit 1500. So I'll take what it gives me. These are the details right here. And we had a great conversation. I'm going to start recording the people that I anticipate getting a tip from see if I actually get a tip from them or not, because I do feel um, these uh, app companies are stealing our tips in order to meet their quote, quota or to pay the venture capitalists the investments that, that they have made. So this is what I was trying to show you, and this is a better way to show you the map, okay? I live over here. Um, I went this way, right around here. When I get close to Costco, I, I got an opportunity to pick up the person over here. Then I went ahead, picked them up, and then I use this route to drop them back right here. So that's basically how I've driven 44 miles today. And the time is around 7.45 in the morning. 7.45. Now my plan and strategy over here is it popped twice. One was $3, the other one I missed. So where I'm at is a good spot. But I know in my experience, and I keep teaching you guys this, this is a good spot right here where all the freeways are. And Loma Linda is great, okay? So I'm gonna go down this way towards Loma Linda and see if I can pick up somebody. If not, there's a Costco over here and there's some um, hotels, like three hotels close to each other. I'm probably gonna wait there and uh, see if I get lucky. If not, then I'm gonna work my way to Ontario Airport um, before nine o'clock. Okay, that popped up before I moved. So there's three opportunities that came and that is just horrible, right? More than 15 minutes. Uh, for five dollars it's not good enough if that was around eight dollars it might be okay but his rating was 4.59 we're not gonna do that at all think of it like this I'm learning to change my style of driving uber so I can be more abundant and if I can learn to be more abundant and I can get better it's a mixture of cherry picking and it's it's a mixture of being at the right place at the right time and as I learn and as I adjust you guys get to learn for free. And then now what I'm realizing is you guys are telling me in the WhatsApp group and in the comments on YouTube what you like, what you don't like, and my videos are adjusting too, which is kind of fun. It's like we're a team. This is another pro tip. I would not update this for as long as you can wait. I've even heard of people not updating the app for like weeks or months at a time. There's something new that they did. And anytime I do this, I end up losing more money and it gets even harder to drive Uber, right? It's sometimes it just completely disrupts the, the industry, right? So now I just say no, update later and push this for as long as you can. And if you notice the app is off in the background, I'm getting gas, turn it off, um, create a supply and demand, right? When you go off, the passengers don't have another driver here over here, right? Which what? The algorithm panics a little bit. See, it's boring just making videos about Uber. And I like to mix it in. Show you how beautiful it looks out here in the rain right now. Now that's a freaking cool pattern. Whatever that is on a tree, that looks kind of cool. Looks like 
beautiful day or there, there must be like a race going on because there's people running with uh, certain colors. Yeah, this is definitely a race or a marathon or something. It's kind of cool. God bless you guys. You know what? When I stop driving Uber, I'm going to join. I'm going to do a half a marathon, maybe 5K. Beautiful day in California, man. Beautiful. Gas prices are $3.99. I can live with that. And check that out. That's the tree we were looking at earlier. From far away, you can't really tell. Now, before we turn the app back on, let's take a look at the latest news, what's going on in our industry. And this is not everybody. This is every day I try to add new people on, okay? Uh, Uber, Lyft, Phoenix, my conversation with the Walmart digital manager. I'm going to listen to what he has to say. Uh, right here, professor. Guys, you guys got to check him out. He's angry and dude, he punches Uber. He, he's, he's got, and he's got abundance, right? So he's able to fight for us. Um, he's a little bit harsh for me sometimes, but look, he's always giving good info. I hope you guys follow him, right? Uber's still updating earnings, still updating earnings, trying out new ways to steal money. We're going to listen to him and see what he has to say. And Serge made an awesome video over here that I'm listening to, which I remember. See, rainy day, no Surge, 6.5 million Uber drivers. And I love what it says, driver diary with Sergio, right? He's actually doing daily videos, which I've been doing for a couple of months now. To watch him do it is awesome. And this is basically what he said in that video, because I've, I've watched that video already. He basically said that back in the days when it rains, it pours, meaning we used to make good money, right? And yesterday is the least amount of money I made all week. On a, on, on a Saturday, like barely made $155, right? Doesn't, it, something doesn't add up. It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. Like now we're gonna turn the app back on, right? Take a break, um, you know, no rush, right? Let the algorithm know that you're not in charge, I'm in charge, okay? The time is 8.01 in the morning. Uh, I've taken a good 15 minute break. Uh, let's turn it on and let's see if me taking a break helped. Um, and see if anything pops up in the container. If nothing pops up, we're gonna continue over here to Loma Linda, and hopefully we get lucky. And you do have to get lucky, my friends. This app is, uh, algorithm is way too good. If you don't get lucky, um, then um, it ends up being a slow day. All right, $10 for 18 minutes, I'll do it. All right, Ashley, we are coming. And the reason why I took this passenger is I've learned a new technique on mathematics. People have said if it's around 20 minutes and $10, that's good because that ends up being, you multiply by three, around $30 for an hour for, you know, 60 minutes. New message from Ashley. Oh, I just Gate dropped code off. code number 5,454. Thank you, Ashley. And I just dropped somebody off there. Now, because she gave me the gate code, we'll say something else over here. Guys, that's not safe. When you give your Uber drivers gate codes, that means if you have bad Uber drivers or criminal Uber drivers, they're going to go in there and everybody at that place is vulnerable. Okay? Hopefully, I remember to block that out. She's bringing the dog. Hello. Hi, good morning. Good morning. For Ashley? Yes. Okay. How are you doing today? I'm tired. Uh, How about your son? I'm doing good. Just, just kind of getting started. Am I your first ride? Second. Okay. I literally dropped a gentleman right here. These apartments must be popular. I was wondering, I was like two minutes. I was like, dang, that's quick. Yeah. And who's the little guy? This is Nala. Nala? Yeah. Oh my. This is my daughter. Uh, he or she? A girl. Oh, beautiful. Seems friendly. She would be trying to say hi to you. Yeah. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, they're, they're very friendly. Yeah. Most are. Once in a while, you get a dog that's been trained not to be friendly. Yeah, I think it's all about how you treat them. Mm -hmm. Well, they reflect your energy. Yeah, exactly. If you got anxiety, then your dog will have anxiety. Mm -hmm. What are you up to today? Um, I'm actually headed to work. I do hair, so. Okay. My schedule is kind of just all over the place. Can you do something for me? <laughs> we can do something with the beer. <laughs>
Yeah. No, but you know there actually is like man units and stuff. Have uh-huh. you ever seen those? No, what is that? Yeah, so um, my brother, he will not let me try it on him, but basically I can add hair uh-huh. over all of that and uh-huh. then I can cut it down low and it'll look like a regular haircut. No way. But it's like hair. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's like, I'm not doing that. But he has like, he's like bald on the yeah. top. Okay, brother. okay. You know, I, I, I've been bald 15 years and I love it. I just yeah. got to, I just shave it. It's I almost there. Yeah, it's almost there where I got to shave it. But what would you do with the beard? Um, whatever you want. I've seen people like braid it. I've seen mm. people do different things like that. So how I long would it take? Too. How long would it take to braid something like this? Not that long. How would you, you would want like one braid, two braids? You know? I've never done it. I'd be, I'd be interested in something. Try something different. Yeah. Um. It's funny because I actually have a client. Let me find a picture. Mm. I actually have a client who has locks on his beard. Okay, okay. Locks is like the Bob Marley thing. Yeah, like how my hair is. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, locks. okay. Those are locks. Oh, that's Check it out. This is what it looks like in San Bernardino. It is nice. It is beautiful. The rain has stopped a little bit. And I am starting my video. Right there is the post office and a lot of water from the rain, but it is gorgeous. I love shooting videos like this. Now, as you can see, these guys are hiring, but it is in San Bernardino. I would be careful. It's not really the safest place to work. Okay, now let's talk about Ashley. We just dropped Ashley, African American woman, 30 years old and hairstylist. She took my number and we're gonna keep in touch. And I can't really tell you why I gave her my number or why she took my number, but let's just say we're the same kind of people. She's spiritual, I'm spiritual. She basically gave me an example. She said, from LAX, I was trying to get a ride to San Bernardino. She said, I'm used to paying $125, $150 for something like this, but guess how much Uber was charging her? four hundred and ninety nine dollars and she said hell no she said hell no to uber and she ended up taking a bus from lax to union station for ten dollars from from union station she ended up taking a train a train my friends a train to san bernardino for another ten dollars then when she got off the train she took an uber for twenty dollars or fifteen dollars to her apartment just process that she got home for around $35 instead of paying $499 where Uber was charging her. And this is why I gave her my number. And this is why, well, another reason I gave her my number was I need some locks. I'm thinking about getting some, some, um, some dreads or threads or whatever that stuff is called. And she loved my beard. And she's like, yo, come over to my salon. I'm going to take care of you. And I was like, I'm an Uber driver. I don't make a lot of money. She's like, don't worry. I'll take care of you. I love helping people. That's what I do. And then we started talking. We talked about spirituality. We talked about our, our visit to Atlanta. We talked about, man, it was like two old buddies hanging out or friends. All right, let me show you my app and see the details where we're at. And then we'll turn Uber back on and figure out what to do. In San Bernardino, I still have to be a little bit careful, right? It's kind of like Compton and Watts. Before we go online, I've been online for hour and 45 minutes active for let's say one hour and we've done a total of two trips today okay um no tips but both of these customers had great conversations with me okay so if i get a tip that would be awesome until then let's do a weekly update we are at 1323 so that basically means we're getting closer to our goal of 1500 dollars. let's get to 1400 before we worry about that okay now what is my plan and strategy let me show you where I was, where I've come so far. So we started the day here, okay? Somewhere over there. Then we went this way and picked up a passenger right here. The ride was offered to me right here. And now I dropped off the passenger over here in Redlands. And then from Redlands, right where I dropped off the passenger in the same apartment complex, I picked her up and I brought her over here, okay? So from here, I'm trying to go this way, right? So I end up in Los Angeles. That's the direction that I want to go. We are going to go ahead and turn the app on. Now, in my opinion, this is a busy area, right? Once again, 
Let's zoom out and let's look at what's going on over here, okay? So you want to not do anything over here. You don't want to go to Lake Arrowhead. Um, th oops, these are all mountains. What you got? 15 minutes of 825 Highland. What's your rating? 826. Uh, okay, I think I'll do it. You know what I'm going to do it is... Oh, good. Another driver match. That's beautiful. That actually lets me know someone else is here. Okay. So that was the first thing that popped out. So the mistake was I was making a video and I took the first thing that popped out. Don't do that, guys. Um, let the first one go out of the container. But I'm just trying to do the map, um, the math, as well as make the YouTube video. So I'm a little old. I get confused. Okay, let's go back. So over here, these are all mountains, right? There's not much money over here, right? Um, if you look over here, there's a university up here, okay? Um, there's, a, there's a lot of money over here because there's rich people by the mountains right here. Um, I know there's a casino over here in Amber Hills. So I think I'm okay where I'm at. If I just start kind of slowly driving this way and, and head towards um, Ontario Airport, I'll be okay. And I do want to hit Ontario Airport before 9.30, otherwise I get stuck there. So I'm going to use Ontario Airport as a guide. 24 minutes, 22 miles, and take the 210 and see what happens. And if something pops up for $10, $15 and it makes sense, we'll do it. Otherwise, we're probably going to end up at Ontario Airport. All right, first one that popped up. It's not even worth looking at. We'll do it. Meets the minimum. We will do it. Okay. Angel. Like your name, my friend. Hopefully you are an angel. Good morning. Good morning for Angel? Yes. Thank you. I'll double check. It is showing uh, Redlands. Yes. Outer Highway 10. Correct. Perfect. Looks like you dropped off a truck, huh? Yes. Long day? No, I'm just getting started. Okay, okay. You're getting ready. Yeah. How about yours? I started a couple hours ago. So I got maybe two hours on you. <laughs> But I like it, man. It's a beautiful day. It's raining. I like that it's tough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's less less dangerous for us. It is, it is. You don't see this stuff all the time. So, no. <laughs> San Bernardino, every time I come here, is something new. It's sad. We used to have our trucks up in Fontana. Uh huh. But of course, you know, they're getting rid of the trucking. Uh, parking lots out there. They are? Yeah, they're pushing us out. I mean, obviously, they'd rather see this yeah. than a truck yard. Yeah. So, everybody's, you know, being bought out. So, slowly, we've been moving further and further this way. And when we found this yard, I was like, fudge, oh, dude, I hate it. But, yeah. you know, it's what's affordable. Is it even safe? Well, there's a security guard on site okay. uh, throughout the night. Okay. So, that, you know, gives you some peace of mind. So your, your, your truck is safe and the, if you, hopefully you don't leave anything in the truck. Well, most of the trucks are loaded. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, so, so that's why you have to have security. That's why you have to have security. Yeah. Right. So these are called trucking yards. Yeah, truck yard, truck yard. It is a beautiful day and there is snow back there. I had to go to the bathroom, but it's kind of cool. I love finding the little spots like this where, you know, we can record some video. There was a homeless person that just came here and went through all that trash trying to find something to eat. We always got to pay respect to my baby right here. Without the Highlander, we can't make money, so I am grateful, Father, for a beautiful car. Keep it safe. See the mountains? We got snow in California. It is gorgeous. And I'm literally right by my home right now. This is what it looks like at the border of Redlands and Yukaipa. Yukaipa Jewelry and Loan is where I kind of have to go to the bathroom. Hey, that's free marketing for them, man. All right, let's take a look at my driver app and figure out what's next. Before we look at the Uber driver app, check this out. This is breaking news, and this is from the brother right here, the handsome liberal. I've been watching his content, 
And if a video's got 1.7K views, it must be important. Bring from a Linwood firefighter who says that he was robbed and carjacked while working as a rideshare driver while he was off duty. This happened around 1 this morning near 122nd in Michigan. That's in Chicago's West Pullman neighborhood. Kevin Cole says that he picked up two people and their dog in Rogers Park. And when they arrived at 121st in Michigan, the dog made a mess in the back seat. And so as he got out to clean it, Cole says the man pointed a gun to his face and demanded his phone, his wallet, and the keys to his car. He says they all sped off, leaving him stranded in the cold. I felt like my life was endangered. I felt like my light literally flashed in my eyes. And I literally... That is the YouTube channel, The Handsome Liberal. Give him some support. Check him out. He's got almost 60,000 subscribers, over 884 videos. I discovered him a couple of days ago, and I'm starting to watch him almost every single day. Good content for us. And now, let's go to my Uber driver app, right? Let's check this out. We don't need to see the weekly earnings. Actually, let me show you where I'm at, and we'll start with this. So, this is interesting. I've almost done a full circle today. Oh, man, I knew I should have been at Ontario Airport. Look, it's surging over there. Okay, look. Um, I live out here. I started from here. I went down this way, picked up my first passenger, came here, dropped him off, right? Then went over here dropped off another one and then picked up another one. Let's change the color for this one. Then I came all the way back this way and I ended up over here after three passenger rides. And that's the route that basically I've taken. And I wanted to be over here. Now we're gonna work our way over there because there's nothing in Yukaipa. So 28 minutes, 30 miles. Uh, I'm not chasing the surge, but I know if I can get there I can maybe, like yesterday, grab a ride around 11 o'clock. So uh, I missed the 9.30 one, and I knew I should have been there at 9.30. But, you know, we still made $42. Yesterday, I got my first passenger from Ontario Airport at 11.30. And um, before that, I made $0. Today, by the time I get there for the 11 o'clock flights that are coming in, um, at least I'm plus $42, right? So I changed my strategy a little bit today. Okay, here we go. We are going to start driving, listening to my podcast, and hopefully get lucky and pick up somebody for that nice cherry and get to, well, get over 50 bucks, and then we can hopefully get to $100. That's the game plan, my friends. That's the game plan. And I was getting gas. This popped up. It's not even worth looking at because it's not a minimum of $7.50. I am so sorry, my friend. I was there earlier. I might have considered it, but not anymore. We're going to work our way to Ontario Airport. Now, I'm going to start showing this all the time. Is the accident still there? This is one of the most dangerous things for Uber drivers. When this pops up, like, and it just stays there like a sticky for 30 seconds. It is annoying. Let me know in the comments. Don't you feel this is distracted driving and dangerous for us? It is the little things that matter, okay? I took some dead miles from Redlands. I came all the way to Ontario Airport and look at that. When I saw that surge and I see the time at 1024, right place, right time, one out of five, one out of five, and I just got here, meaning I can get lucky. And another thing I want you to notice is this. I take the exit off Haven and come park right here. So right away I get into the queue. The app is trying to tell you to go this way and then maybe even go this way and then come down here to go to an area where you need to go. But right now, because I took an exit a little bit early, a little bit early, I'm in the queue faster than everybody else that's gonna follow what the Uber navigation is gonna tell them what to do. Let me give you an update where we were and where we ended up. Okay, so we were over here in Redlands right about here okay and i took all of this dead miles to come over here um if i remember correctly it was at least 20 miles 25 minutes to be in position to cherry pick because from 10 30 to around 12 o'clock there's a good opportunity at ontario airport and hopefully get a good ride so i can get out of here
Here is an update from Frank in our WhatsApp group, and you guys are welcome to join. Last night, he said he did around $150 in four hours online and two hours active. This is very good. And basically over here, Frank was giving us screenshots and letting us know, look, it was surging like crazy in Lyft. And he showed over here, Uber was surging like crazy at night. So this is the advantage of being in our WhatsApp group, especially if you drive in California. We tell each other, I wish Frank would have told us this last night. Um, you know, if others were available and they were checking their WhatsApp group, I swear they would have turned their app on and gone out and gotten that surge. But we're getting better at it. Over here, I uploaded a video telling people not to do the Uber update that the app is asking us to do right now and wait as long as we can. Um, and this is how we communicate. There's around, I think, 11 or 12 of us in this WhatsApp group. And every day we're giving tips and trips. If you're interested, let me know in the comments. Um, and, uh, you know, before the group gets too big, I would be more than happy to give you an invite and test you out. If you're a good fit, you can stick around. If you're not a good fit, deuces. Flight just landed. I am going to go closer. And I've realized if I'm closer to picking up the passengers, it actually helps. Uber gives you a priority. That is the first one that popped up. We're not going to take it. Um, but look at the numbers. That's around 30 minutes for $11. That's not even meeting our minimum. And uh, we're going to wait for something a little bit better. This is the whole point of getting here and cherry picking. This is the next next one that popped up is going to Colton. But once again, 25 minutes. Oh, I didn't even get to read it. But 25 minutes, uh, the mileage is 16, 17 miles to go backwards. Uh, doesn't take me towards Los Angeles, so we're going to pass on it. And was it out of queue? Yeah, see? Uh, both of those last two popped up, and I haven't moved in the queue at all. So those are containers. I don't know. God knows who took those. Here's a short one to come right back. I'm thinking about it. Ah, uh, thought too long. That would have been cool if it was at least $7.50. $7.50 is my minimum because if I can do that in 15 minutes, then we're at least hitting um, $30 per hour or whatever. I'm going to take a look at what's going on. Flights are not coming till 12 o'clock, and that is okay. I will wait patiently. Maybe some flights come a little bit early. Normally, around 10 and 11 is the window. Today, it's 12 o'clock. That thing wasn't popping up. I couldn't see it. So now, in hindsight, what I'm thinking is the $5 ride to go there and come back would have been nice, you know, to kind of take a break, keep the car engine going, make sure, you know, everything is functioning properly. And I'm still working on Wednesday's video in the background. I've gotten 42 minutes done and the first five passengers. Now I got five more passengers to edit in. And I'm trying to keep it under an hour. So this is fun. Cherry picking at Ontario Airport paid off. Instead of recording the video showing that I got this 30 or $33 ride, I hit stop by accident. <laughs> but I'm laughing because I was working in the background. I was recording my audio for a clip. And right in the middle of that, something popped up. I got nervous. I saw $33. I got all happy. Hey, let me go pick up Brian, drop him off in Yorba Linda, and then I'll tell you what happened. It's a beautiful day, guys. And the time right now is 1133 so we were at $42. We can add another 33 through that. And we're trying to get to $100. Come on, universe. Let's check Brian's rating real quick. 492, that is good. <clears throat> you guys have a good flight? Mm -hmm. Easy flight? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. It's not bad, though. Coming from Vegas? No, from uh, uh, Atlanta. Oh, wow. Long long flight. Yep. Uh, four and a half hours. Oh, not too bad. Not yeah. too bad. It got busy all of a sudden. Look, all of these people. How, how, how many?
any term, uh, term, terminals for this airport? Three or two? Uh, two main ones where I picked you up, and there's one over there. But uh, if if you do international flights, they have one to China too. Oh, they have a ch international. Here? Yeah, so so the international one just opened a couple years ago, oh, so you can get a direct flight to China and back. Oh, only chi China, that's it. Uh, no, there's other flights too, but the China is the main one. Normally, uh -huh. when I pick up people, they're flying in like around five o'clock uh -huh. today. They, yeah. If I come here by five, there are people from China coming in direct flight from China. Uh -huh. But it's international, so there might be other stuff too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. international. Yeah. I like. I like. Uh huh. This is my first time I got uh, go to this airport. This one? Yeah, my first time. Normally you go to LAX? Yeah, uh, LAX, yeah. yeah. This is way better than LAX. Look, it's close. You'll be home in 30 minutes, 40 yeah. minutes. Mm -hmm. Hopefully no traffic. And look how easy the pickup is. I come, you jump in the car at LAX. Uh -huh. You have to take a bus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you have to wait for me 10 minutes. Yeah, so shuttle or something. Shuttle, yeah. yeah. It's, it's really hard at LAX. It takes time. You waste 30 yeah, minutes. A lot, lot of traffic. A lot of traffic. Oh my God, check it out. This is where I dropped them off. Guys, secured area, you need uh, permission. You, they're gonna check your driver's license to get in here. But look at these gorgeous houses, a beautiful day. And you know, I gotta get a camper shot in there, but look at these homes. They are gorgeous. Good job. This guy is definitely loaded, I'll tell you that much. And he gave me a tip. That was an easy ride. The dude I thought was Chinese. Uh, no, he wasn't from Chinese because I was telling him, you know, I lived in Chino and, you know, the city of Chino is named after Chinese people. I ended up finding out he's from Vietnam. I felt a little bit dumb, but you know what? Great conversation. He said he will tip me in the app and he did. And it's confirmation. We're roughly at $83. Let's take a look at my Uber driver app at the details. And we're still trying to get to $100 for Sunday. The time right now is 12.37 p.m. And he told me one more thing. He says, you know why it's slow for you today, Ahmed? I go, why? He says, because everybody's watching football. I'm like, oh my God, you're right. The playoffs are going on, the NFL, right? That totally makes sense. He says, it'll get busy in a little bit. The next game is at three o'clock. Maybe in between, it'll get busy for you a little bit. I said, thank you. Then he gave me one more tip. I was like, I'm an Uber driver. Can you give me a tip what I can do? He says, charge $50. I'm like, what do you mean charge $50? He says, go private. I drive in my city. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, I do private rides. I take people to the hospital. I bring them back $50. How many do in a day? He says, I do $5. I mean, I do five rides like that. I'm like, what does that mean? He says, $50, five rides, do the math. How much is in your pocket? Pure cash, Ahmed, pure cash. And I was like, yo, bro, for a Vietnamese guy, you're pretty cool. Thank you, my friend. All right, now let's take a look at my Uber driver app. The Vietnamese guy, his name was Brian, B-R-Y-A-N. I would have never guessed he was Vietnamese, but you know. But it's all good. All right, guys, we started from here, Ontario Airport. Now we're over here in Yorba Linda. And let me tell you, there's three ways to get over here. And you see those clouds? That's where we're trying to get to. We're trying to get to the clouds over here. Okay, look, the passenger was picked up right here in Ontario Airport. Uber was telling me to go this way and then do this. I said, nah, I'm cool with that. I checked Google. Google said to go this way and I can come like this and then cut across like that. And I was like, nah, I'm cool. I don't want to go in the streets. So I ended up driving this way because there was no traffic. It's Sunday, right? I grabbed the passenger. I went down and I went like this. I went like this and we came down Imperial Highway and we ended up over here, right? And the tip was awesome, man. I'm so grateful he gave me a tip. And now I'm tracking it. After I drop off every passenger, look, tip expected, yes or no. And especially if the passenger says, hey, I'm going to tip you, I write it down. Yes, it's expected. No, if I didn't do service and I didn't have a conversation, I don't expect a tip. I'm really trying to get to the bottom of this. How much of our money are they taking? This is unethical. Okay, back to the earnings. Let's take a look at this last ride. 
you know I did dead miles, right? Dead miles means I drove from Redlands to Ontario Airport to be in position to take this person, right? So, if you look over here, oh, this is cool. Now, when I tell you the map ahead of time, you can actually see the route that I took. Okay, look, this ride was expected to pay $33. Mistakes were made. This ride was expected to pay $33. I got around $41, right? The distance is a 29. This is good. We made a little bit extra for the amount of money we got for the miles we drove. Right now, I'm at 140 miles for the day. So I'm still a little bit behind, but I think as I get closer to Disneyland or John Wayne Airport, I should be able to catch up and recover. So we have been active for about two hours and 16 minutes, online for almost uh, six hours. That's brutal, but you know what? In four trips, I've made $83. I'm okay with that. We're gonna try to get to $100. And the more I spent online and the less active I am, that means I'm spending more time on my YouTube videos, right? My video in the background that I've been editing today, it's almost 52 minutes long. And I got three more passengers so I can finish Wednesday's video for you guys. And a few more homes for you to look at. This time I zoomed in and just enjoy it. This is not a long video, but just admire the beauty, the architecture and the wealth. And yes, these guys, they have horses here. Can you believe that? This is your Belinda. A lot of Asian people live here. A lot of wealthy Asian people live here, my friends. Okay, one Uber ride popped up for $8. Uh, it was kind of far uh, for pickup. That means it's slow where I'm at. And it kind of makes sense, right? I'm in the middle of nowhere. I'm next to Carbon Canyon. Um, these are all mountains back here, right? All mountains. So the chances of getting a passenger out here are a little bit low uh, in my experience, right? So what we're going to do is... We're just going to head towards here. I know this area right here is a hot spot, and I know this area right here is a hot spot. Fullerton is good. Anaheim is good. Um, and I think Disneyland is over here somewhere, right? So we're going to start heading that way. It's basically showing for me to get to Disneyland. It's going to take around 30 minutes, but 16 miles is what I like. But I have a feeling by the time we get here, uh, we should be able to pick up somebody because if you've watched one of my previous videos, I told you this is a hot spot for rides because there's some trash companies out here and the business that's out here fixes trash trucks and they drop people off and they say they always have a hard time finding a driver. So I'm literally going to go there and wait for a little bit and it's the closest I am to the dollar sign. So I'm hoping it picks up for me a little bit. Now Google is showing or Google Maps is showing me a different route or a couple of different options, right? Um, although this is showing it's one minute slower, it is a possibility if I wanna go through Placentia and end up and drive this way so I'm closer to Fullerton where I've no noticed there's a lot of college students in Fullerton. There's Cal State Fullerton and there's another college there. Um, you know, might be a better way to drive down than, than going this way. I'm also gonna turn on UberX because, oh, I didn't have it on, but when X and Uber Share turns on, it auto automatically turns it on for you. We'll turn on deliveries and pet just to see because I'm in a slow area, see if anything pops up. And when deliveries start going crazy, that means there's less drivers, and then I can turn those settings off and I drive freely. Yeah, you can see Disneyland is already showing uh, extra dollar sign. And I just clicked on the extra dollar sign and... Um, we're gonna go that way. So this popped up while I was driving and listening to Lucky Lopez on the left. $23 to go 38 miles to Los Angeles. I actually couldn't make a decision and I wasn't able to pick up this passenger. But it's all good, check it out. You can watch some more very wealthy people in some very, very, very wealthy homes and some music. And in case you're wondering, that was Asian festival music for, you know, Asian passenger. You got to add Asian music in there, my friends. That's last ride was, I think, $23, $24 going towards Los Angeles. 
I couldn't read the details. I was still trying to drive. It was unsafe, so I just recorded it, and then I stopped recording. I'm by Cal State University of Fullerton, and I'm going to wait here and see if I can pick up somebody. Uh, if not, we're just going to relax, take it easy. 30 minutes for $8. Nah, we're good. And that reminds me, why do I even have that thing on? Yeah. But I know I'm at a good spot. We'll turn that off. We'll turn. Yeah, we'll leave everything else on. This, I do believe, is a hot spot right here next to Cal State Fullerton. All right, this is good news. Uh, Uber wants to pay me for 15 minutes around four miles, five dollars. No, the minimum we need to make is around eight dollars. So we're not going to take this one. But it's good to know that we are in an area where deliveries are popping up and these little container rides are popping up, right? This is why I came and I sat here. Oh yes, I have to leave this one on. This is the this is their new low, by the way, two dollars and seventy three cents. And I've been dying to record this, right? I think I got it earlier in the video. Now I got it live for sure. Oh no, I got it in in Wednesday's video that I'm editing right now. But right now I got it live. We will do it. I will do that because it puts me closer to John Wayne Airport and it is a share, but you know what? Beggars can't be choosers, right? The time right now is 1.41 p.m. and I still gotta get to my $100. In the background, I got um, 57 minutes of my video done for Wednesday. I have two more passengers to do. I'm gonna wrap that video up and it's nice. It's, it's almost gonna be under or close to an hour. All right, let's go pick up Mr. Min. All right, we're chugging along. We're gonna pick up Mr. Min. After this, I'll be close to $100, but still haven't hit $100. The time is 1.44 p.m., but that is okay. It's a share ride, so it might add another person and maybe by the time I drop them off, I might get to a hundred dollars. Hello, coming in. Showing for Min? Yes, it will ask you for a pin. Yes. It will be 0835. Perfect. How are you doing today? Good. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to double check. Perfect. What is that? It's a caregiving facility. Ah, I thought it was like a food place. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh, like a hospice. Oh, you're going to work? Yes. Well, God bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Too. You know, job of service is, is not easy. No. A hospice? Yeah, it's even tougher, right? You're and dealing with everyone that's passing away. It's with um, elderly people. We do memory care. Memory care? Mm -hmm. Alzheimer's, dementia? Yes. Oh, you gotta, you gotta deal with some crazy people. Mostly the Mesha, yes. Yeah. They think they're, some people think they're in the crew. Some people wake up and be like, I have to go to work. I have a flight right now. I need to go. No. You're not going anywhere, lady. <laughs> oh, man. You've been doing this for a while? Yes. So you're used to it? Uh, yes, I really like it. Yeah, it takes a certain kind of person to deal with the elderly and especially with, with the brain, right? And the yes. memory, yeah. And it's very rewarding at the end of the day. Like I said, service job. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> I pick up some people from uh, uh, Philippines and they're caregivers too. And they tell me, you know, sometimes they're, they're working for private patients where the person wants to stay at home and uh -huh. they don't want to go. And they, they tell me some, some funky stories. But once they have like a certain, like, certain point of memory, dementia and things but they're not able to be at home because they they like they're in a regular day 30 years ago and they just want to leave because they don't, they're not aware of their surroundings so, so it's dangerous so how do you determine that or the state determines it uh, or? i think the doctor does it like it's okay. better for them to be in a memory facility okay. where they can be properly taken care of because people forget to wash their teeth or mm, go to the bathroom hygiene okay like okay that. okay that was a great conversation with an awesome lady and this is close to where i dropped her off it's a beautiful plaza lots of action going on here lots of shopping Enjoy the next few minutes of California to some music and then we'll get started with the Uber driver app again.
Okay, so that Uber X share ride basically brought me from right here. I was in Fullerton next to Cal State and I basically went down and came over here and I think we're pretty close to Disneyland. Um, we're gonna turn the app on and see what happens, but before we do that, let's take, at, take a look at the earnings and analyze them because that's the fun part, right? Understanding what's going on. So the time right now is 2.16. I've recorded some footage and I'm basically just kind of taking it easy. We're gonna say we're at $100, right? It's 2.16, we're at $100. Um, the map here kind of reflects what I was talking about. So that's, let's say $9 for, oh my goodness. Yep, on UberX Share, you can't see any of the details. I'm gonna double check my settings. Everything looks good. Let's turn the app on and see what she has to offer. Oh man, I gotta take a photo. All right, hang on. Okay, I am done taking my photo. Let's see how far Disneyland is from here. Okay, Disneyland is showing it is around 15 minutes, 5.6 miles. Um, that's an option right now. Uh, let me see what John Wayne looks like. Uncle John Wayne looks like 17 minutes, 10 miles away. I think I'm gonna pass on Disneyland because there's a lot of people that have been drinking alcohol when I've been picking them up from Disneyland. I'm gonna play it safe. Uh, I might even go straight down Main Street and end up at John Wayne and not take the freeway and see if I pick up somebody on the way, try something different. Um, it's shorter distance. I have all the time in the world that I need. And once I get to John Wayne, I can relax, work on my projects. I think that's what we're gonna do. Uh, I am taking a little bit of a break because um, I wanna do some more editing in the background. And the next one is showing $4.23 for 12 minutes. Uh, no, it's going backwards. But I was gonna take it for $4 anyways. No, thank you. Three strikes and you're out, Uber. That's three BS options I got, but I've gotten another 10 minutes of my YouTube video done. Now just the last 10 minutes left for Wednesday so I can finish editing it. And uh, we're gonna go to John Wayne Airport. What is that, 40? I couldn't even read it. It looked like $20 uh, for 40 whatever. Yeah, that last one was for 40 minutes, uh, $20, but going to Corona, uh, maybe it was a good deal, maybe it was a bad deal, but you know what? Too late to cry about it now. What's interesting to note there is I'm moving and I'm getting a lot of options, right? But just, just nothing. But right when I move, it gives me that $20 one might have taken it, but I couldn't process it, you know, while I'm driving and it's not safe. So by the time I thought about taking it, I didn't want to make a mistake. It went because I'm like, you know what? By the time I get to John Wayne, I can cherry pick. And if I have to wait, I'll finish editing my video. So um, and this is my philosophy. Uber loses money. There's so many drivers that would rather just work eight hours, make the money and go home. But we don't. We just chill. We take it easy um, and we take our sweet little time. What I mean by t uh, Uber losing money is if most drivers end up taking their time and they're cherry picking, from what I'm understanding, everybody on my WhatsApp group is cherry picking. There's 12 of us, right? And let's say my WhatsApp gro group grows to 100 people, 150 people. That's everybody like me cherry picking. On my YouTube video and my channel, I have 600 subscribers. Let's say even 20% of those people, 200 people watch my videos, they don't comment, they're quiet, but they're learning and they're starting to cherry pick. What's eventually happening is enough of us are creating content and telling people to cherry pick, uh, Uber's losing all that money and Lyft is losing all that money because there's so many people out here that, and the algorithm can't keep adjusting, right? We are way too creative and um, it cannot keep up with us. Because we can sacrifice our income, we can sacrifice our time f for the long run, right? Because we, we know and we understand this is a marathon, right? And these billionaires, they just care about stocks, they just care about S&P 500, and they just care about profits. In the long run, I think they're going to break. 
Alrighty, we are close enough and my favorite numbers are up there. 722. Two. I see that a lot. We are gonna enjoy this. I gave Uber zero dollars while I relocated. Took it nice and easy. Okay, I made it. Uh, we're gonna double check and see what's going on. It's three o'clock. Let's go up here and see how busy it is at three o'clock. It is showing 10 flights are coming in. That's good news. We can cherry pick. Four o'clock, good news. Eight flights, so that's 18. Hey, I just got here, bro. Are you gonna give me, uh, remember guys, never take the first ride. What is this? 16, let's say it's 20, 10 miles, $10. Numbers are pretty close, but we're not gonna do it. Someone in the WhatsApp group was asking about the Uber inspection. So I took this and sent it to her so she can pass her test uh, or the vehicle inspection. In case you guys are wondering, this is what it looks like. Feel free to pause and look at it if you need your car inspected. Notice it wants me to accept this one. That means uh, the supply and demand is good. Because normally it's match, match, match. That was an accept. That means a flight landed. Oh, we're going to wait nice and patiently. And this is my point here is you, you got to be a little bit flexible. When you're on top of the queue and it's giving you poop, um, that means there's just too many drivers here. And it knows that. And, and you know, sometimes 10 or $15 is worth it. And then you come back around 5 or 6 o'clock when you can hit it harder because there'll be less drivers, hopefully. And this football game going on today, right? So it's 3.40 in California. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I'll take that. $27. That's, that's worth it for me. Now it's matching. All of a sudden it was accept, 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 accept. All of a sudden something nice pops up. Um, it's going to match you, right? And this is where they play with your emotions a little bit. Accept, accept, accept. And then all of a sudden they'll give you something. Hey, but that's my. those are my numbers, right? 277 or 2707. Let's see if we get it. But that's basically, I've said no to 15 rides right now. 15, I've said no to that were under, there's one that was $18. Everything other than that was too low. I don't know why it's taking so long, right? It's like, I think here their algorithm is literally taking it, giving it to me for 27, giving it to somebody else for 26, giving it to somebody else for 25. And if it gets to 25 and it can make more money, it'll give it. Because I'm driving Uber Comfort and Excel. Sometimes it wants to keep me here to come back to the airport to pick up a better passenger. Oh man, this is taking a long time to match. Uber's working really hard. Let's study this. 34 miles for $27, so we're getting screwed there. Hacienda Heights. I don't even remember where Hacienda Heights is. And then um, 39 minutes or so 40 minutes. Five, yeah, so this is going to take about an hour or at least 50 minutes. But let's just let it sit in the background, see how long it takes. What happens? Still matching, you'll be notified. Oh man, my audience is going to get bored. I have to pause this now. It's still matching in the background, but it decided to have me accept something. I think, I think it was doing that to see if I'm here and I'm willing to take it. Put me in the back of the queue. Yeah, we're not going to take any of this stuff. But still matching. That's weird. What is it doing? I'm curious to know. If I get lined up with this, that'll be interesting. Like while it's matching, it gave me two accepts. I didn't take it. That means this is fake. This doesn't even exist. This is just to see if I'm willing to take something for a higher amount. Um, otherwise, it just keeps throwing $10, $5, $7, $9. And it won't let me work in the background. I'm trying to edit my video. Look, I'm trying to edit my video in the background. It will not let me work on my project. Yeah, see, I'm almost done editing this video. I got less than, what, 13 minutes to edit. I'll probably narrow it down. I'm trying to get this podcast to be under an hour, but it won't let me edit and keeps giving me all this crap. And it, this is annoying a little bit. Let's go. Did it stop? start matching? Oh, it's still matching. Okay, good. Okay, it stopped matching, which means I wasn't going to get it. But now, if you notice, I'm all the way at the end, which means I probably need to take one of these that pop up over here, right? But the match was false. I don't even think that right existed, right? 
and and um yeah i don't even think that right existed okay i didn't take anything and i got put at the end of the queue uh for everything and that is okay this is where i want you guys to know that you are the boss um my what time is 3 49 let's put that down and now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna finish editing my video in the background which is way more important but look how fast this thing is dropping right here right it's still dropping while i'm here so who knows maybe i get lucky maybe i don't but at least i get to work on my video well we went through that queue pretty quick if you notice over here the time is right now 3 57 and look my turn's already here so oh oh this is good i didn't even have to wait that long so this was cherry picking going at the end and still being in position to pick up a possible nice passenger. I took it, you dumb ass app. <laughs> uh, 20 bucks, that's the first one that came, fellas. Uh, now I'm starting my way home, I think. Uh, or maybe we get lucky from Brea. We'll see what happens. Get out of here. We're gonna pick up Mr. Brain, not Brian, Mr. Brain. He's got a big brain. Welcome to John Wayne Airport. Please press the button for a ticket or insert your credit card. What's your rating? You should have checked your rating. 491 is not bad. Double check, is short for Brian? Yes, sir. How you doing, brother? Good, how you doing today? Good, good. She was showing Brea? Yeah. Yep. Residence in Anaheim. Yes, sir. Let's do this. Working on a big project? Uh, well, I'm starting to work for a new company. So I'm out here for training. Oh, that's good news, right? Yeah, it's good news. Yeah, I'm yeah. excited about it. So you're going to be here in California? Uh, just for a week, yeah. And then training, then you're back home? Yep. Fair enough. Enjoy the weather, man. Well, it was one degree this morning in Indianapolis where I'm from, so... Oh, because you had the snowstorm, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's been freezing for a good week or two now. Like, I think the worst was last Saturday, like a week ago Saturday. It was negative three, but the wind chill had at negative 23. Oh! So, that Ooh. was, uh... That's brutal. Yeah. Not fun. Now, I've been in Toronto when it's been that cold, and yeah, it's, it's, it's a whole different game. Uh-huh. We're spoiled over here, man. <laughs> if it gets below 40, it's like, it's cold. Uh -huh. I like a bit of winter, but yeah, when it's in single digits, it's just it's miserable. Keep those dog walks pretty short. Oh, you got a dog too? Yeah. Shit. Yeah. The dog probably gets cold too, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, she, she goes stir crazy in the house all day, but then we're outside for two minutes and she's... She's ready to go back in. Yeah. Now, do you have to put, like, sweater on her and... and something on her paws or there's still if i did it longer i would mm. but when it's this cold it's just she's well, 10 years old so i don't i don't really need to exercise her for gotcha hours Please insert your ticket or so like a quick bathroom break yeah but yeah when she was uh when she was younger i would put her sweater and you know, maybe some, something on her feet too yeah i did i hear sometimes i see you know in, in, in palm springs it's hot so people have shoes on the dogs and and then for winter, I see people put sweaters on. It's kind of cute. <laughs> Let's add another $15 to 112. And where I'm picking up this older gentleman is, I guess, old people's home or something like that. Hi, Ahmed. I was wondering if you had room for a foldable walker in your trunk. Yes, I'm on my way. Thank you. Okay, how are you doing? Well, I'm doing fine. Kind of. Well, you're looking good. Thank you. All right. I'm going to double check the drop off. Doing anything fun tonight? No, I'm having dinner with my sister, my daughter, and her family. Okay. So, that, yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, that's always good. This is a nice place. Hmm? So this place looks nice. Yeah, it is. It's very nice, actually. Well, it is nighttime, and I did two back-to-back -back rides. My friends, 
Two back-to-back -back rides, we're at $132. It's a little bit slow, but I'm hanging tough because the second passenger brought me back to Irvine. The mileage is 211 uh, for $132. Nothing I can do about that. But let me tell you about the first passenger. Mr. Brian loves animals. He was talking to me about his Great Dane and how much he loves that dog and how friendly that dog is with human beings. He said he got him trained where he can walk him without a leash. We were talking about coyotes, we were talking about wolves, we were talking about doggies. And I told him a question. I said, you know what? Wouldn't it be cool if our girlfriends and wives loved us the way animals, especially dogs, treat us when we come home? And he started laughing. And that resulted from a $19 ride to a $24 ride. $5 tip, my friends. I work on tips every single passenger. The last passenger was an older gentleman. I picked him up from, I think, um, you know, old people homes. His foot was sprained. He had a walker. The lady asked me if I can help. I said, no problem. Put his walker in the car, took it out, opened the door, made sure he got home to having dinner with his family. And I took it for $15, even though it took 36 minutes or 18 miles because John Wayne to Brea, Brea back to Irvine, I'm very close to John Wayne where I can go and it's 538. You know, six o'clock is the perfect time to be at John Wayne Airport. Let's get going. I gotta get, go make my money. But guess what? Let me show you what's going on with the Uber driver app screen real quick. And then uh, we gotta get to John Wayne Airport. Here we go, here we go. Back to back trips means uh, Brea, John Wayne Airport. So Brian was right here. I dropped him off there. I picked up the next person. I came right back and I'm right here. That's what I mean by back to back trips, my friends. Right here to right there. And then I'm all the way back here again. You can see I'm right over here. So close to John Wayne. That's what I call back to back. Let's take a look at the details for these. Another thing with back-to-back -back trips is 402, um, I picked them up. 440, I picked up the next passenger. Just quick, hella quick, very fast, right? So I count this as one income now, right? Because we did it quick, we didn't take a break in between. I didn't even get a chance to shoot the video. Let's do the math right. 24 plus 15 is 34. Let's just say $40. So that's $40 made very quick to get me to 132. I'm gonna quickly show you the details so you can see it. This ride was supposed to be 19. We ended up making 24. Um, and if we go down here, you can see the tip. The tip is right here. And without this, it's hard to drive Uber these days, right? We depend on the tip. So passengers, thank you, I appreciate it. Let's take a look at the last passenger, which is right here. And feel free to pause this if you need to look at the details. Um, I'm probably not gonna get a tip on this one because it was an elderly gentleman and we didn't talk. I didn't get a chance to serve him too much. And plus the ride was ordered by the facility that, stay, that he stays at. And that's like an insurance ride. They're not gonna tip you. They have no reason to tip you. I did hit 1400 for um, the week, which is good. Uh, so I'd like to do a little bit of uh, review and I will update this again if we get to 1500 and I'm trying. It's around 5.41 p.m. right now. I got another two, maybe three hours of driving because I want to get up early Monday morning. So active, 43 hours, online, 87, still two to one ratio. Now the 56 trips is more than what I like to do. Maybe we might do a couple more but it's okay, it's January, it's a little bit slow. And for the tips, let's take a look at it for the week. Oh yeah, we're almost with cash tips, we're at $200. $200 for the week is great, great for the tips, my friends, that's very good. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and basically head over there and then we're gonna study it before we get there a little bit. 31, um, Comfort is 41, so this is the busiest it's been, So, because people know it's prime time right now, right? And six o'clock is when the flights come in. Let's go, it's time to go, my friends. How far away are we? So this is a good decision to do back-to-back -back ride, right? 
And that's why I didn't record a video. I'm like, you know what? It's taking me to Irvine. It's close to John Wayne. Even if they paid me $12, well, I shouldn't say that because the algorithm is lifting, listening. But $15 is worth it to get back here. I am ready to go to John Wayne Airport. We're going to turn on UberX. I don't mind checking the pets out here. And deliveries, we're going to leave off. Um, actually, I'm going to turn deliveries on just so I can see if it's busy. It's evening time. Who knows? Maybe you get a $15 delivery. It's on the way. I might consider it. But most likely, I have all the settings turned on right now because I want to see what the algorithm is doing. If deliveries are popping, if pet is popping, Uber X is popping, it doesn't matter, $3, $5. We want to know if we hit a hot spot where a lot of things are coming. And when we notice a lot of things are popping, that's a good time to pause and try to use destination mode to go home or continue to the airport because once you're at the airport, it means it's a good time, right? There's not enough drivers right now. Okay, made it to John Wayne Airport. And the queue is not looking too bad. Hopefully it goes through quick. All right, Mission Viejo is going the wrong way. Um, yeah, it makes sense for the money. This is the best we can do right now. But it's going the wrong way, my friends. I don't want to go that way. Give me something better. What you got? Okay, the queue's moving. The time is 6.15. Let's note that down. It means we haven't been here too long. Delivery. Nice. It's going to take me 28 minutes to go 7 miles. I don't even understand this. Irvine at Park, Santa Ana. But thanks for reminding me that I have delivery turned on. Uh, let's turn the deliveries off. And we're going to turn the pets off. And we're going to turn the deliveries off. Yeah, that's not necessary right now. That was just there to find out if it's going to be busy or slow. And I just finished my video that is going to be exported for tonight. So it's available for you. This is from Wednesday. Ended up being 69 minutes long. This is the most I've worked on one video. Trying to narrow it down and put effects in and um, hopefully keep you guys engaged more than 10-15 minutes. Most people are not watching my videos that are hour long, more than 10 minutes. And I'm trying to change that. Where is that? Trabuco Canyon. Trabuco Canyon. I don't know where that is. Trabuco Canyon. I guess we'll find out. It's not too far away. Trabuco Canyon. Did I get it? It's probably going... Towards Laguna Beach. Trabuco Canyon. Yep. I did get it. Let's look that up. Where is Trabuco Canyon? Trabuco Canyon. What's your rating? Okay, not bad. Oh my god, I'm getting tired now. The time is 7.33. Just dropped off Terry. She lives in an area called Trabuco Canyon. This is past Mission Viejo. The first time I came out here secured area beautiful houses and um we had a good conversation she was coming back from dallas where her daughter is getting married in august and she helped pick her a wedding dress she was telling me that two of her kids have moved to dallas one is still here but she doesn't want to leave california we were talking the whole time we were talking about politics we were talking about the weather um and that kind of helps you know going home late at night and she even told me how to go home. Take the 241 toll roads. You think Uber's going to pay for that? No. Let me show you my Uber driver app. And I'm tired. It's time to go home. I can't make long videos right now. Okay. So we are over here in the middle of nowhere. Uh, the update is I was here at SNA, John Wayne Airport. And we took the 5 all the way to Oso Parkway. And we're here. And now, in order to go home, let me figure that out. I got to take the 241. So let's see that. There you go, my friends. We got 80 minutes, 85 miles. Um, I'm overshooting it to Morongo Casino, but my home from here is around 70 minutes away and 77 miles. I checked. And I don't think I'm going to be going to John Wayne Airport. I'm going to take the 241 home. And I'm thinking when I get over here, 
I might get lucky with a passenger. If I get here, I might get lucky with a passenger so we can try to hit 1500, but it's not looking good. It's not looking good. The details from this ride are right there. Um, $23, man, this family or this person was so wealthy. I'm surprised they ordered an Uber X. Should have done Comfort or Excel, okay? Um, now, the duration was 34 minutes, the distance was 21, so that's not bad. I'm hoping for a tip because we had a great conversation. And just in case this is the last passenger of the day, um, I'm gonna go ahead and go over the numbers because I get home, I get too tired. So 1,452, we're $48 short of hitting 1,500. Active, we're gonna say 44 hours. Online, 88 hours, that's two to one ratio. And we're at 57 trips. The time is 7.37 in the evening. And if you look at today's details, whew, $155 which is the minimum I like. Um, you know, it should have been $200 today easily, but look at that, active for four hours and 45 minutes, online for two hours and 17 minutes. That's three to one ratio. That means I got more time to work on my YouTube channel. And eight trips, that's not bad. And where are the tips today? You know, we got $5 cash, so 17, that's tough. But you know what, I'll take the 140, three for net fare which means i love you and you know what that's all she wrote i'm gonna start driving home maybe we get lucky maybe we don't but i think 1452 is close to 1500 let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree all right the descent home has started i just need to upload my youtube video in the background and uh, do my thumbnail and it'll be ready for you guys to watch at six in the morning that was the biggest accomplishment today. I'm hungry. I have to pull over and get some start. I mean, get some Taco Bell. Okay. Thank you. You have a good night. Uh -huh. Very nice lady. You can, you can sometimes just tell by looking at a person's face and their demeanor. And she got my order wrong and she apologized. I was like, oh, you don't have to apologize. It's all good. Okay, I'm gonna eat. Still got a long way to go home. But what I wanted to do was turn this thing off and turn it back on and see if anything pops up and double check and no pets. Food is fine because it'll be a little bit easy. See if anything pop, oh, I had Uber X off. All right, let's see if anything pops up going that way. Going home, home is basically in this direction uber i'm reminding you give me rides going that way oh we'll do it so my way home okay gabriella you are on my way home thank you yeah, come on in. <laughs> you working this late? I know, right? <laughs> I was like, man, what is this? Is it, are we going to a restaurant? Are we going to an apartment? It looks like someone's working. You guys got deadlines? No, it's just a clock on there. Super tired. So. I'm not going to do much recording, but we're going to set this to go home. But 172 is not bad. Just too tired. We're still going to try to use destination mode, dude. <laughs> still going to try to use destination mode. Because you never know. You never know. We might get lucky, dude. If I got one more ride, dude. It would be solid. It freaking turn the pets on too. All right, Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Hey, the time is nine eleven at night. Nine one one. I just had to do that. Yes. Sunday driving is done. We ended up with one hundred and seventy-two dollars. Five and a half hours active. 
13 almost 14 hours online which means I didn't do that good of a job or I made some mistakes that is okay we did this in nine trips and we only got $12 in tips which means unfortunately uber was taking our tips because I get at least 30 to $40 tips every single day Whoa. this is what I ask you if you would like feel free to pause this screen and take a look at it it shows my full route from 7 in the morning till 8 30 at night all the rides all the passengers um, whether I took a comfort ride or, or uber x the mileage um, you know the fun stuff uh, and if you're learning let me know in the comments below if you learned something if not it's all good and now this is what we've been waiting for the best part about this oh video, my bada bing, bada boom. My friends, this is the seventh video of the series, which shows I landed $1,468 with the cash tips. I made $1,500 in one week, 90 hours online, 44 and a half hours active, 58 trips. Tips, $188 with the cash tips. We definitely did more than 200. Please like, comment, subscribe. God bless you. Have a beautiful life.